All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode of Unsealed Legends. We have got the third part of the series here of the mini tins. We have got the Turtwig mini tin right here, you guys. And if you missed the last two, we opened the Piplup and the Chimchar. And I did these separately just because I wanted to get a few more packs in on the opening, you guys. Give it a little more variety for the opening. And uh, when I saw these tins, I don't know about anybody else, but I grew up playing the uh, Game Boy Pokemon games and the starters you guys for those earlier eras were insane you guys I'd have to say the first second and then yeah the first generation second third fourth like they were on point you guys I mean let me know in the comments what you think a lot of all oh, right look at that we get the mall wild like full texture alternate art card you guys this thing is thick all right look at that we got the Reggie Drago right there too, you guys. Oh my goodness, that is insane. I remember playing uh, Pokemon so long ago, they only had Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that, you guys. The Mawile full art card right there. That's actually thick. It's heavy. It's got really awesome texture on it. But like I was saying, I remember the Reggies when it was just a few. Now they got the Reggie Drago. They got, they got a few other ones, too. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. But uh, like I was saying, you guys, the first air, the first handful of eras of starters were off the chain. I think they were insane. They kind of made me want to play the, the games more, the Game Boy games more and such. But I feel like nowadays, you guys are probably going to get at me in the comments and feel free to do so. I want to hear everybody's opinion because I'm an old school Pokemon player. I think they kind of have lost their edge on the new started oh my goodness you guys oh my goodness you guys look at that all right we got the origin form pack of v we'll get this right out of the way real quick because look at what we just pulled you guys the starmy v alternate art with misty on the pool misty in the pool on the pool flow with the starmy oh my goodness you guys look at how awesome that card is and uh the centering doesn't look too off maybe a little uh heavy on the left we're going to get that right into a top loader. You guys, we've been trying to pull this card for so long. That is insane. We'll leave it right there in the back so you guys can see it. Check that card out, you guys. That is insane, you guys. I want to say this is going for, I want to say PSA 9 or 10. That's over a $100 card right there. So that is a great pull, you guys. Let me know in the comments if I'm a little off or if that's spot on. <clears throat> But wow, you guys, I'm excited. I'm hyped now. Look at that. All right, you guys, look at that Starmie just chilling in the background. All right, fire energy, guys. Let's see what we can pull. <clears throat> Last pack before we get to the Turtwig uh, 10. That's such a tongue twister, you guys. Turtwig 10. All right. Actually, uh, my mistake. We got one more after this. Chilling Rain. Chilling Rain, you guys. We need the Blaziken alternate art card you guys uh we pulled a blaziken in the last episode out of the uh chimchar tin i believe or the yeah i believe it was the chimchar tin we pulled the blaziken out of it it wasn't the one we wanted though there's four in that set and we want two of them and we've pulled two of the ones that yeah they're cool but we would have rather had the rainbow or the alternate art you guys so let me know in the comments which one of these three fate which one of these starters is your favorite too by the way i would always pick piplup but uh maybe if i gave it a go nowadays i'd pick turtwig and uh shout out to all the chimchar uh trainers out there i feel like all of them were a good pick if you ask my brother he's he's gonna have a whole list of pros and cons for all of them and which one's better but i i feel like you is really not really not a bad pick same with like the first generation the second generation the third you guys it was really it was a really a big win for whatever starter you chose it was awesome all right you guys finally getting into this 10 let's see fire energy to start it off let's see if we can get something big you guys some big hits and uh all right toxicity we've uh we've pulled a couple full arts of that uh out of the crown zenith that was a really really sweet card and chilling rain is the last one in the pack you guys um make sure you stay tuned for the second giveaway because that is coming up you guys coming up fast we just did the first one the uh 
the ETB, the Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. It touched down to the winner successfully, you guys. So big shout out, big thanks to everybody who entered. And the second one is happening soon. So stay tuned, you guys. All right, look at that big Starmie V, you guys. That is an awesome pull. That's a victory right there. I think I think we did good this one. All right, catch me in the next episode. Unseal Legends. So like that gon' miss me, it's a risky move, I know. No. Tip like it's the Cody and the Saudi, let it pull. Like, whoa.